representing the Los Angeles Figure Skating Club, Burbank, California, Nicole Bobek. Well, this week represents a comeback of sorts for Nicole Bobek. Last year, withdrawing after the short program in San Jose because of an injury. She was injured this season, spent about three months off the ice. Disappointing short program, and she is in sixth place right now. Well, Terry, in the past, Nicole has had some of her best performances when the pressure is suddenly off. And I hope that holds true for her tonight. Opening jump, a double axle. Nice, confident, beautiful landing. If you notice these jumps very clearly, you'll see that she has a wonderful spring, a wonderful ability to get height. The problem is keeping her head together to finish them all. This triple Lutz jump has been in the past difficult for. Tonight oh, was nice. nice. She takes it so much faster without the long back outside edge that it keeps her from switching edges at the last minute. And that's better for the jump. Watch the entrance to this triple flip. This is where she's had triple toe loop, rather. Double toe loop. Good for her. Well, she's, she's changed her mind in several instances about the order of the program. Well, that hasn't changed very much no, either. No, not at all. Well, we talked to her a little bit earlier tonight before this free skate began to ask her what she was planning. She said, we're still figuring it out. So you know that she does improvise on occasion. But if you're thinking that sixth place, trying to move up to win this or at least get on the podium is insurmountable. Remember at the European Men's Championship this year, Alexei Romanov was in sixth after the short program. He won the championship. Triple loop, double loop. See, now there will be no marks deducted for that. She just won't get credit for having done a triple loop. Knowing her, she may yet put one in later in the program. That's a nice position on the layback. She does indeed have great extension. And this spiral series shows that. With the she height has, of the leg. It's just absolutely spectacular. <laughs> certainly knows how to play to a crowd. She has charisma oozing out of her. Triple Salkow. Oh, nice. You know, she's skating beautifully so far. Even though she has somehow or other, once in a while, not done something, what she has done has been first rate, light, airy, and controlled. In practices, she's been skating very, very well. She just had a very disappointing short program. Very unfortunate. Double axle. <laughs> Double axle with a landing and a big smile. <laughs> Well, this crowd believes she's back. Well, what a year she's had. And Pro there's her mom. Problems of all time, personal life, problems physically, problems getting back into the world of skating. How nice it is to see that she 
just held it all together so well. I think this audience is very proud of her, and especially her mom. I think it's because everybody <laughs> wants her to do well. One skater that you could never count out. And there's Tanya Kwiatkowski. She and Tara Lipinski getting ready to skate in the next group. We'll be back in a moment. Well, there are certain athletes in every sport who know how to turn up the volume when the lights are on. You get under the lights and they skate their best. This is one of them right here. And there are her scores for technical merit. And look at those marks. They're very, very good. Five sevens, five eights. And look at this triple flip combination. Watching the step, it's a back inside edge. Very good height. And it's much straighter than it used to be. And let's hope that counts for its security. Yes, had good height. And boy, was she happy after that was over. What a relief. She's had a lot of critics over the past year, but out with injuries, she wasn't able to train like she'd like. She skated a terrific free skate. The presentation marks 5.6 up to 5.8, and she leads in terms of those that have skated this evening. 